While the United States is focused on the Iranians in the Red Sea, the Indian Navy is active in controlling the situation. It has deployed a number of warships and is actively helping ships in distress in the Arabian Sea. Now, earlier on Friday, the Indian Navy once again foiled a piracy attempt off the east coast of Somalia. Indian Navy warship INS Sharda successfully rescued 11 Iranian and 8 Pakistani nationals who were taken hostage by seven pirates on the Iranian flag vessel F.V. Omari. Earlier on Tuesday, the Navy released footage of its rescue operation of an Iranian flat fish flagged fishing vessel hijacked by Somali pirates. Now, the Navy rescued two Iranian vessels the same day. In the first instance, the INS Sumitra patrol vessel rescued 17 Iranian crew members before responding to another distress call and freeing 19 Pakistani nationals on another vessel. The Navy operations come in response to a resurgence of Somali piracy in the Indian Ocean since last month. Last week on Saturday, the Indian Navy warship Vishakapatnam rescued a distressed vessel in the Red Sea after merchant vessel Marlin Luanda came under Houthi attack on Friday. It was hit by an anti-ship ballistic missile, causing a huge fire on board. Now, here's what the ship's captain had to say. Listen to this. So, I really thank the uh, Indian uh, warship, INS Vishakabharta. They have done a really tremendous job. We had actually lost the hope that uh, uh, we won't be able to fight this fire, but these guys were really tough. They have really done a tremendous job and hats off to the Indian Navy who said that we will come on board. Now, earlier speaking to Vion about Indian Navy Chief Admiral R. Hari Kumar has criticized the Red Sea situation as fragile. He asserted that the Indian Navy is taking proactive actions to keep the situation stable. Listen to this. There is a large uh, number of uh, things which are happening in the uh, Red Sea. Uh, the merchant ships are getting targeted, uh, you know, largely merchant ships of a particular, uh, which have got a particular linkage with some, uh, with the Israel is what is being targeted. Mm -hmm. But when you come further this side towards the North Arabian Sea and the Central Arabian Sea, I would say, uh, there have been attacks, drone attacks on uh, the uh, merchant ships. Uh, some have been at extended ranges. And this is a cause of concern, particularly for us, because uh, this is our region and uh, we want to keep it uh, safe, secure and stable. Now, the Indian Defence Ministry says it is increasing deployment in the strategic waters of Djibouti, Gulf of Aden, east coast of Somalia, as well as in the North and Central Arabian Sea for the protection of merchant vessels.